Hey everyone, Tanner Turner here with Devil's Lake Tourism. Just checking in after a weekend of ice fishing. As you can see, I've got the Ranger on the trailer here with the, the sled behind it. And I tell you what, it's definitely a change since Friday. Um, you know, spring is in the air, we can hear geese flying around. And I did a fishing report, you know, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon that I was gonna post. But I just knew with this weather that we were getting, things were gonna change so rapidly and I wanted to make sure we had the most up-to-date, accurate information for anyone that was still planning to try to make a late ice fishing trip up here. Um, so we'll just give you a brief rundown synopsis of what we found this weekend, what we're dealing with for ice conditions, access issues like that, just so you guys have a solid um, formed information that you have so you can make a sound decision if you still want to come up here yet this winter and experience a little bit of late ice season, you know, that March madness that we always talk about. So we got out Friday morning, um, accesses were still good, everything was freezing overnight. We, uh, we found about 30 inches of ice um, later in the afternoon, once it warmed up to that 45 degree temperature of the sunshine, we noticed a lot of the access points where we got onto the ice in the morning was starting to deteriorate a little bit. And you know, there were still guys using pickups and um, small SUVs, but we actually just, we liked to err on the side of caution. So we were running around with our rangers um, and sleds behind them just to be safe. Never know, especially with this weather, that things change so quickly. So Friday we had actually pretty good, pretty good access, pretty good ice conditions. Saturday is when the wind started to pick up. Um, we were fortunate that things froze overnight on Friday. Saturday morning um, we got under the ice, no issues. Still had that solid 30 inches of ice. Um, and by Saturday afternoon, you know, we were peaking 50, 53 degrees with about a 30 mile an hour wind out of the southwest and southeast, I should say. And that just ended up giving us, you know, by the evening about two to three inches of, of water sitting on top of the ice. And not only that, but with the ice, um, even with our cleats that we had, our anchors for the ice house hubs, we could, they were popping out in the afternoon with the wind and just the amount of sun penetration. And, you know, the ice started to really deteriorate. Now you fast forward to yesterday and a lot of that ice water that we had sitting on the ice that two to three inches um, by yesterday afternoon was pretty much gone off the ice which gives you one clue that means all of that water is getting absorbed into the ice with the heat and the melting and that's only just adding to the deterioration of that so you know with that coupled with the warm weather we had um, and especially with a lot of the guides around the area that spend 80 to 90 days in a row on this lake in this body of water during the winter they know the ice conditions they can read it very well and the fact that most of them are having their last days of guiding today or tomorrow makes me put a lot of faith and trust into their decisions because they know it better than anyone out here for the amount of time they spend on the ice so you know it's, it's tough to say that you know we're we're right at the end of the ice season but also has a kind of twofold scenario. We got spring goose season right around the corner. We've got not a lot of snow. So if these geese show up, they're gonna have some food sources. So if you're looking for a spring goose hunt, there's still a great opportunity to, to get out and enjoy the outdoors up here in the Devil's Lake area at this spring. But not only that, um, we just, you know, we're right around the corner from getting out the, the boat ramps. Um, once we get that ice off, you know, we're gonna have some good shoreline fishing for the first month or so, whether that's gonna be the end of March or beginning of April. Um, but there's always something to look forward to up here. We're very optimistic that uh, if the ice does end up going pretty quick here, like, like it is leaning towards that open water season will be right around the corner and we'll be dusting off the long rods. Um, just wanna emphasize though, if you are looking to get that last minute trip in up here, um, I would personally recommend walking on out from here from here on out for the rest of the season unless we have a drastic change in weather in the next three four days but with the highs for the next couple days a little bit of the wind we're going to have sunshine it's only going to amplify the effects of what we've experienced in the last three days up here so we just want to keep everyone up to date safe um, you know word of the wise is to be very cautious and you know practice uh, what you do beginning in the ice season when you're going out for the first time as we are doing it for the last time you know no fish is worth your life we've got winter next year again winter always shows its face in north dakota and sometimes it's sad to see it go so early when we love this ice fishing season but in the same token hey open water season will be right around the corner uh, we're going to keep you updated as we see the next uh, week or so what the conditions happen um, we'll try to keep you updated as the migration comes through with snow geese and then also how our shore fishing is progressing because you know what we have some of the best shore fishing in the united states and when you have you know hundreds of miles of shoreline for pike white bass walleye once that spawn hits those fish are going things will be looking good so we're going to keep you updated as we move through spring here in, in devil's lake so thanks again for following along and if you are going to get out one last time make sure to be safe out there